My name is Nikki Newsom, and I teach Grade 5. Grade 5 students are currently engaged in a project on the Fraser Caribou Gold Rush. I really enjoyed the thought of building a uh, diorama because um, I really like working with my hands. We're using a process called project-based learning, which provides students with meaningful questions on authentic audience and a challenge to create or design something of their own. We were like, oh, we should make a song, because we both really like to sing. With the sun shining down over me and you, there was hunger in the air. And we decided to create a fun music video. From there, just got more creative, and we started to enjoy it more and more. Gold! In project-based learning, students are really active participants in, in, in the process um, through the formation of meaningful questions, through having an authentic audience, and through creating something that's meaningful to them. Most interesting, probably um, them bringing camels to Canada. They would eat the tents, they would fall off cliffs, and they need to buy leather boots for them. So they're an absolute disaster. This process is really exciting because students are allowed to choose what kind of product they'd like to create, and in doing so, their own personal strengths really shine through. I wanted to do this because I wanted to make like something a bit unique. He found so much gold, but he didn't know how to use it, and he lost all of it, and died poor. Well, for my project, I have three little diaries. And what I'm going to do is, because I have three topics, I'm going to write little paragraphs in each diary. And I also have a backboard. So I have some sheets of paper, and I'm going to stick that on my backboard. We did some research on, on in websites and books. We were only allowed to copy like little bits of the information and not full sentences. Well, in project-based learning, um, not only can we address skills and content that are prescribed by the ministry, but we can also address really important 21st century skills that we know our students need in today's world. Skills like collaboration and communication, um, presentation and critical thinking and problem solving are important aspects of, uh, of project-based learning. I want to teach the grade 10s and 11s the tools miners use to to find gold along the Fraser River. So an important part of project-based learning process is having an authentic audience for the students beyond their classmates and their teacher. And so the students were presented with the idea of teaching the grade 10 students something, an aspect of the gold rush that they had learned about. The students were really excited because they were taking on the role of an expert. As we look at the most current brain research, that tells us that brains are most actively engaged or more synapses are being formed when a student is involved in explaining or coaching or a problem-solving sort of situation. And so project-based learning really ties into that because our students are engaged most of the time in that kind of work. So we know that our students are actually growing in their brains and developing um, through this process. We really look at bringing out the leader in, in each student. And so leadership is a really big part of their social and emotional development in grade five. We're look, really looking for grade fives to show some leadership among the school and also among their peers. Looking for students to take more responsibility for their own learning and even for their own assessment. So in grade five, they're really ready to reflect on their learning and to reflect on their progress in a meaningful way and then to make changes for themselves. It was a lot of interest for me because I love history. I'm not very good at presenting projects, but I, I, I have a lot of practice by now and I'm getting the hang of it. I think I've learned lots of new things about, about PowerPoint that I didn't really know before. Um, I probably learned that it, you don't have to focus on one thing if, even if your teacher asks you to. Um, you could like, it's almost like being a bird, you could spread your wings and like fly and just do anything you want. It's really, really fun.